Um, all right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. This is the Living in Coastal Virginia YouTube channel. My name is Dan Inman, and I am here with my co-host and partner and friend, Sean Fitzgibbons. Or Sean Fitzy. Oh, all right. What's up, Mr. Sean? Glad to have you, good sir. <clears throat> if you are first tuning in, what we do is we cover all things live, work, play, good, bad, ugly of the coastal Virginia area. That encompasses like Norfolk and Virginia Beach and Chesapeake, <coughs> Suffolk, Newport News, Portsmouth, uh, sometimes even all the way up to Williamsburg. But uh, we absolutely love this, this area. Lived here for a very long time. Sean's lived here basically his entire life. I've been here for almost 20 years, and so uh, eventually I became a real estate agent. And so we use this not only to uh, serve those who are looking to move to the area, but also to get clients to help people that are relocating to the area or moving into the area uh, and help them buy and sell uh, and invest in real estate here locally. If you have any questions related to real estate, feel free to put them in the chat just because we're covering the top 20 things, fun things to do in Virginia Beach Day does not necessarily mean that we're not willing to answer questions when re related to the market, what's going on with housing, what's the Fed doing, <clears throat> how does real estate look here in comparison to San Diego or any other markets. I just talked to someone today that's uh, moving uh, from potentially Tennessee, uh, and we get people that move it all over the world. So we would love to hear from where are you from? Are you here locally? Are you coming from a different area? Are you just tuning in because you saw some guy with gray doing a live stream and you're like, hey, let's listen to what this guy has to say and see if he's an absolute tool and then poke fun of him in the chat. You're allowed to do that. Uh, every time that we do one of these lives, we like to try to support a local libation. Uh, we got this idea from a guy named Scott Watson. Uh, what's the name of his channel again? Uh, go, live large, go large, something. We'll think of it here in a second. He does like a, a van tours type of thing where he yeah. lives in a van and <clears throat> lives in a van down by the river. Uh, lives in a van and, and does small, van tours. Go small, live large, Scott Watson. Uh, but he suggested we do this, and we thought it was really cool. So uh, today we are supporting the Pineapple Grenade from uh, Young Veterans Brewing Company, Boom Young Veterans, and 5.5. Uh, I'm actually not partaking this evening, so Sean's going to be drinking alone. Um, there you go, Mr. Sean. Yeah. Oh, you have the audio, so I don't know how well it came up. Oh, well, that's all right. So Sean's going to partake. Let's see what Sean's, what's your, what's your take on it. Is that your cup of tea or no? No, it's good. It's it's light. It's not like a crazy amount of pineapple. You know, some some of the fruit beers, it's all you can taste is the fruit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice. It's a good, like, on the beach drink, I would say. All right. My drink of choice this evening is a smoothie uh, because I have been tracking everything I've been eating. Dan's on the, on the health train right now. So I've been in the gym. I think I've missed one workout in the last three months. I've been tracking everything I eat. So I'm trying to get a little bit healthier. Uh, and, uh, and lose some weight, gain some muscle, that type of thing. Tuning in from Maryland. Thinking about moving to Virginia Beach sometimes if I ever do. Uh-oh, I did. did. Oh, wait a minute. Let me expand it. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, definitely going to reach out. Love these watch shows. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'm glad you're tuning in. I don't remember her coming on earlier. I think, yeah, I think we've seen her around. Um, <clears throat> all right, so... Uh, what we're going to cover today are the top 20 thing, fun things to do in Virginia Beach. Now, by no means is this fully comprehensive. There's a ton to do. And I would argue, uh, you know, I've been here for almost 20 years now. Um, if anything, what I have seen over 20 years is that th this area has become cooler and cooler. Um, right around 2000 and I would say seven or eight, I think is when O'Connor's came into play. Um, no, they're leaving. I heard they sold, didn't they sell? Yeah. They sold and they're moving out to the mountains. Oh, man. So they sold their brewery, another brewery over there. That's a big deal. Um, anyway, so uh, Norfolk used to have zero microbreweries or uh, what? I don't know, craft. craft breweries. Uh, and now I think it has like 17 or something ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and that's just in Norfolk. Virginia Beach has quite a few. I think Chesapeake has two. Uh, but we we kind of generally mock Chesapeake. I love Chesapeake. For those who love Chesapeake and have moved to Chesapeake, and I've helped clients move to Chesapeake, I tease Chesapeake because it's boring, and people but people love it because it's boring. I've in both the Facebook groups and a couple of other YouTube videos, I've had people literally say, 
we like it boring. Let's leave it that way. Um, and so uh, it, it's just there. It is suburbia. It's got great school districts, low crime. That's that type of thing. If you look at the statistics and the, and the reviews and uh, and people love it for that reason. But today we're covering Virginia Beach. So let me go over here. Am I sharing my screen yet, Sean? Not yet. Let me slideshow. Boom. All right, we're up. Cycle that over to the opening slide for me. There we go. Cool. All right, Virginia Beach. Uh, Virginia Beach, by the way, I've lived in Norfolk probably the majority of the time of the 20 years. But Virginia Beach has been seducing me, Sean. <laughs> They've they've been over, over the years. They have been calling me hither. You were you were like a super starch Norfolk supporter. Like when people would say Norfolk or Virginia Beach versus Virginia Beach. I remember Dan was yeah. like team Norfolk. We we have slowly seen a change. Yeah, we've teasingly um, said that the relationship is sort of like uh, Parks and Rec, Pawnee, and Eagleton, yeah. um, and there's definitely a little bit of that for sure. Uh, but I will say Virginia Beach has has kind of wooed me a little bit. Um, now that I have shown ever since I got, I think it's what it is. I got in real estate and I started seeing a lot more of Virginia Beach, and I realized that there was a lot to offer there. Um, so we're going to go over some fun things to do, and uh, there are we're going to start with like outdoor adventures. Ad, outdoor adventures. So there's a Danism that would normally get edited out in a more polished video. Um, because there's a lot to do outside in, in adventures. Again, this is no way comprehensive. I'll probably expound on a few of these. Um, but obviously the biggest uh, toy in the world, the biggest sandbox in the world exists, which is the ocean. And uh, the Virginia Beach Ocean Front is fantastic. Now that could be along the strip where they have things like uh, the statue and playgrounds and they have the workout gym and they do uh, all kinds of stuff down there. They have concerts down there. Um, the Virginia Beach Ocean Strip, for most of the season and even outside of tourist season, has stuff that's going on all the time. And if you're a fan of just going and laying out on the beach, it can get pretty busy out there. But to be honest, it's pretty daggone large. Um, you can go down there. You can probably find parking. Yes, during tourist season, it's going to be expensive. But that's just part of how that works. It's, it's not going to change anytime soon. But I actually really enjoy the strip. I used to be anti the strip, Sean. It's now, it's now, anti the strip. Anti the strip. Um, I will say, so my new office is down on Laskin, um, and I can walk and put my toes in the sand in like maybe five minutes if I walk slow. And it's pretty great. I never got why people didn't like. Like people who live here, they like the Outer Banks, and I think that's a better strip. To me, like if you're vacationing at all, this to me it's it's just way above. There's just everything. There's there. entertainment. You can just walk. There's bands at night. There are yeah. street the magic shows. Is super nice. What is, what is your, your trivia question there? It's the longest strip of uh, Pleasure Beach in the I think in the world, which I think is just um, like vacation slash like hotels and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the, it's one of the videos I have has me like <laughs> you know doing an innuendo there. Uh, but yeah, I, I I honestly think it's it's fantastic. There are plenty of great restaurants. There's plenty to do. Uh, parasailing, deep sea fishing. Uh, you have the big you know, boat. There's just it's the boardwalk itself. Being able um, to down that roller skate bike. They have uh, wild, they have, not wild horse, they have horse horseback. You can go and do horseback, horseback riding on the beach. It's pretty daggone cool. Um, now, you had mentioned the Outer Banks. I think Outer Banks is cool. It's just, um, it's a different vibe. It is a huge, long section of, of beach, more for like week long vacationers in like uh, beach houses. And it's just a totally different vibe. More getaway than commercialized. Yeah, it's also more expensive. So you're gonna you're gonna get people who are willing to spend a little more money to have a little more exclusivity. Uh, I I just I don't know why Virginia Beach gets some of the hate that it does when it comes to vacation markets. I think it's fantastic, and I and I live here. I don't mind it at all. All right, let me roll on to the new, numero dos, uh, Back Bay National Wild Refuge. Uh, I've only actually been down here once. Have you been? I've actually only been to Sandbridge and like droned over. Okay. To do that. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, the drone never technically went into the sure. park. Yeah, I, I, I look at it. Yeah, from the beauty of of, of the uh, the drone camera is you can zoom in and then also crop in from uh, from 4K, which makes it look like you've gone farther in than you have. Um, Back Bay National Wild Ref Wildlife Refuge. I've had a few friends um, that 
this was like a yearly thing. They would go down there and hike in there and camp and come back. Um, I've never done that. I've gone down to Sandbridge quite a few times. Uh, but if you're into wildlife and you, you're willing to do hiking, you're not allowed to do fires down there. They, yeah. um, I think it's also about like you have to come in by boat or something if you want to stay or something. Uh, there is, um, there are campsites that you can only get to by like paddleboard or kayak or that type of thing. That's cool. Though. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> Um, but to me, sleeping above water just sounds like a recipe for mosquitoes. <laughs> I've never done it, so I can't speak to it. First Landing State Park. Now, here's one I have been to quite a few times. Um, and, and I think First Landing's awesome for a couple of reasons. Uh, you have a, uh, a section where you can go park and go to the beach. And that's a great section of beach that you can go and check out. Uh, you have a uh, section where you have hiking. And there are long hiking trails in here. There is a, a section where you can do your boat drop off in there uh, and little sections of beach on the uh, the bay side. I think First Landing State Park is great. You can take your dogs. There are sections for walking only. There are sections where you can take your bike. Um, if I'm looking for, especially during fall, especially during the fall, because the weather here is just, it's perfect. It is. Um, I'd say I'm so excited. like mid-September to like, mid-November yeah. is like heaven on earth. As the, the leaves change and everything just looks so pretty, I love it. Especially, mm -hmm. I mean, first landing there, you get that foliage right on the beach. Humidity goes away. Um, you get light breezes, that, that 50 to 70 degree weather. Nice um, and first landing state park has, in my opinion, some of the best like camping in the area period. They have uh, live oak trees that are in there if you want to hang up a hammock. The campsites are really well maintained. Um, they spray for mosquitoes. You don't have to worry about that. It's like it's just a really, really nice spot. You're allowed to have fires. Not allowed to use the the, lay, the wood laying around, but you can bring wood in. I've been camping here several times, and I just absolutely love it. Um, I will say on weekends where it gets like it's a, like a – uh, holiday weekend or something along those lines. It's first come first serve, so you you gotta you gotta go yeah, poach your spot it's early. Not even worse than that now, like they're booked <clears> way out. Are they? Can you book it up? Especially weekends. Yeah, you can you can reserve now. It's probably because of COVID. Okay. It's like way like next summer probably all the weekends are probably oh. mostly taken. Dang. All right. Well, there you go. You heard it here. All right, the adventure park. Um, I've been here twice. Have you been? Yes. I I think uh, this is something, Actually, especially if a kids. Um, is, is a lot of fun. Now, you can go as an adult. Not, not just kids. I got real exhausted doing this. No, it's, it's not easy. It's easy. And, and they have, like, different levels of difficulty. They have a zip line. It's right next to the aquarium. So, like, if you were wanted to really make a full day of it, you could go to do the aquarium with, like, the little kids and take the bigger kids or, you know, do, do it, go to lunch, come back, do the zip line park and tuck them out and put them to bed by, like, 5 o'clock. It's right near one of the ones coming up. Mm -hmm. I think you can do, um, is this the zip line during night? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Cool. Anyway, uh, you can do birthdays here. They have a park there. Uh, this is a lot of fun. <coughs> this is, this is my opinion is, is underrated. I, I, I really think this place is pretty cool. I want to say I've been there four or five times with we the kids. Got Russ here, uh, jump on and say, I love Virginia beach. So I'd ask him what some of the, what would be his fun things to do? And he said, live music and seafood is one of his favorite things to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, we're going to get to some of that here in a minute. Um, like concerts, you have the Virginia beach amphitheater. Um, you've got, uh, actually you get the funny bone in town center. So you get, there's comedians that go there. I, I kind of want to lump all of like Campton roads into this cause there are multiple venues throughout, mm -hmm. but we have big names that come here on a regular occasion. Yeah. Um, and, and it's, yeah, concerts, music venue, and especially uh, like something on the water this last year was enormous. Even with the weather being the way it was, it was absolutely yeah. huge. Yeah. Had a huge turnout. All right, cultural um, vibe district. So I think we're putting cultural. Sean put this together for me. <laughs> so uh, vibe district is a section of the beach. Let's see if I can pull up on the map here. All right, it's Norvik. Pretty beach. Here you go. So this is the Vibe Creative District. So if you're looking, if you're if you don't know about this area, here's kind of all of Hampton Roads, right? It's talking about Newport News, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake. Here's Portsmouth, Hampton, Newport News. All right. 
So here's Virginia Beach, and you can see the Virginia Beach is this red line that goes all the way down to the border right here. Here's Back Bay National Wild Refuge. It's absolutely enormous. And if you go down to the strip here, really close to the strip is the Vibe District. Um, there's an enormous surf park that's getting uh, built out right here. Uh, I think um, shoot, Pharrell is part of that, which is pretty pretty daggone cool. Like, um, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. I don't want to get too too distracted here. But the Vibe District has all kinds of school stuff, school stuff, cool stuff. Um, they've got uh, multiple coffee shops, lots of restaurants, Lolly's Ice Cream, the couple breweries. Um, they have uh, what's well, right next here to the convention center. I think last week there's an anime convention that was right here. Beach Bullet Barbecue. There are a whole bunch of like vendors in here. Um, North End Bag Company. I forget the name of the potter that's in there that they, they make pottery. Uh, I was actually at the stock pot today. Absolutely fantastic. This is one of those areas. And what's really kind of cool, I don't, Sean, do you have <coughs> maybe the video of? The vibe this work that we did. Look at uh, one of the coolest pieces of of this area is that it is. Oh, well, here you go. You can see that they. There you go. Cool. How do I turn that in? Okay. Um, is that they have paid artists or allowed artists to go through and do murals and paint things. Um, and so it is just a really, really neat area. Three ships coffee. Here's right North end bag companies right there on that, that corner. Um, this is just a really, really cool area. And there are people that will choose to live right next to it. Um, you can both here in uh shadow lawn and then kind of the beach borough area kind of feeds into it. And a lot of people will live in this section because one, you have access to the beach really quickly. And then also you can either wipe, like goodness gracious walk or bike walk or bike slow down over here into the vibe district and you have access to to a ton i have a, uh, two or three clients that live in this in this section um and i just actually saw uh john and Alyssa Steele just not that long ago uh you've met them you stopped by their house once when we were yeah. doing some drone work um yeah super super cool area the only downside the only downside in my opinion is jet noise because if you notice Here's Naval Air Station Oceana, and uh, the jets fly right here, right in this little cross path. And so you're you're going to get a, a decent amount of jet noise. So that's going to bother you. This may not be an area for you. But that's the Vibe Creative District. Uh, you can go to their website and see that they're putting on, uh, they put on festivals in here too. Um, they also have a farmer's market that goes on here on a regular occasion. Uh, you can see all of the, the public art that's, that's going through here. It's just a really, really neat area. All right. Any other questions? We make sure I'm going to cover. Cool. All right. Cape Henry Lighthouse. I might have put this as an outside one, but that's okay. Um, one of the oldest lighthouses in the area. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up because I think I messed up the, the date on this the last time I was in here. What date was it? 191896 Tower First Light. I feel like I misquoted it last time. It any any what's mr sean uh you can climb this it is very very hot during the summer uh it is a huge brick tower that just sits and bakes in the sun be very very careful make sure you take water um, but this is one of the coolest uh attractions if you're into really old stuff thank you uh but this is a cool this, this is a really uh a cool one to go to if you're into that type of stuff i um i have to admit sean the last time i was in the outer banks uh, Rachel really wanted to go and see the lighthouse. And I was like, I do not want to pay. I think something stupid, like $25 or something like that. $25 to sweat my nuts off <laughs> to climb something and go, yeah, it's tall. And then walk back down. Mm -hmm. She wanted to do it. So I gave in. I just thought it was a huge waste of money. Yeah. If you're into that type of stuff, it's cool for me. Not so much. <laughs> More of a history thing. For, for some people, they love it. They love it. That's sort of like if, if you were to ask me, do you want to go to the Chrysler Art Museum? I'd be like, no, that <laughs> sounds boring Plus to me. Or, hey, Dan, do you want to go watch the Tides game? <sighs> <It's>, <laughs> no, but I do want funnel cake and a hot dog and an over expensive beer. 
and I want your company, so I'll go with you. Yeah. But I do not want to watch baseball because it is the boringest sport on the planet Earth. So I'd rather watch golf. Here, Dog on baseball. I mean, I'm okay with it. Mm. I'm not, I'm not a baseball fan. All right. Uh, oops. Go back. I'm going to jump here to the Adam Thurgood house. One of the oldest houses in the state of Virginia happens to be here. Uh, it is maintained and taken care of uh, by, an, I believe, a nonprofit, or is it by the state? I think the state took it over. I'll let you look at Come on. Let's yeah. see. Go over here. Boom. This is another one of those ones so where if you want to go and look at a really old building and see how they did things a long time ago, this is going to be your vibe. It's in a really nice neighborhood. Uh, it is kind of cool. I'm, I'm into architecture, so I like kind of stuff like this. But to be honest, um, when we as kids went to like historical sites in middle school and elementary school, I was bored out of my mind. I was like, where is laser tag? They'll give me something that feeds it. supposed to be the fun things to do. <laughs> I know I'm not really talking it up all that much. Lighthouses that I split my balls off. <laughs> if you're into history museums and you want to see historical line sites, one, you should definitely check out Williamsburg. Yes. Uh, but if you're in Virginia Beach and you don't want to drive all the way up there, this could be a close second or a way to – uh, wet your tongue a little bit on the historical sites. Um, yeah, a new one. What's that? King Tut on Batman is now what you look like on TikTok. King Tut on Batman? I didn't even know there was a King Tut on Batman. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't get the reference. Uh, on occasion, for those who are watching on the live stream on uh, either Facebook or YouTube or um, LinkedIn, occasionally we'll get someone in... Um, <laughs> and the TikTok world that will leave comments. And one of the latest ones was, uh, let's, what do you say? Said, Bearded Jay Leno, right? Yeah. A 1966 series. A Batman series? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm going to Google this now. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, being compared to Batman, that sounds great. Batman. Mm. Well, that's, I don't think you want to be compared to this guy. Mm. No, we'll move on. Unfortunate. <laughs> Not a compliment. We'll move on. All right, we move on to the next piece here. All right, Ocean Breeze Water Park, family friendly, family friendly fun. I'm really stumbling over my words. Oh, yes. And Sean's doing the drinking. I'm not even drinking. I just got the smoothie going on here. All that protein going to your lips. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. All right, Ocean Breeze Water Park. I've been here probably about five or six times with my kids. I love water parks, man. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, one, take plenty of sunscreen because you're going to be out all day. But this this growing up was one of my absolute favorite things to do. I'm all about, like, take the kids out, run up the line, go down, and just over and over and over, like, tucker yourself out and then just eat tons of crap food and then go home and fall asleep at, like, <laughs> five, 6 o'clock. Um, and Ocean Breeze is great, man. I, I this, is, this is one of those where I'm, like, underrated. Pretty important, too. I can get like a season pass for like seven bucks or more. Is it that is that inexpensive? <gasps> Sean, they have an adult night there? Oh man. Well, if you want to leave the kids at home, they have a DJ. Let me go back over here. This sounds amazing. Uh there is a DJ feature attraction without any kids it, with drinks and dancing. This sounds like dangerous <laughs> slash if you're like, well, I keep saying if you're into this, if you're into like the like go and party and have a good time, that's probably gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Ocean Breeze is fantastic. They also have the uh, the go kart course right next to it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. want to kind of like do a little bit of both, uh, if I remember correctly, they'll give you a um, like a wristband. So if you want to do ocean, like do the the water park, go do some go karts and then come back, uh, you can get back in. At least I've actually never done another one. Uh, one of the things I will say is if you have the budget, if it's in the budget to do it, getting the cabana, that is worthwhile. Because if you want to get out of the sun and like have a little bit of covered area. PSA, watch your children at the wave pool. They, they banned the floaties, I think because of my brother. My brother almost drowned there. It was your brother? Yeah, he got sucked in and was stuck under floaties. And 
they put, you know, they blow the whistle and the guy dives in and we're all like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And then they pull my brother out and I'm like, oh, look, it's Mark. Oh, Mark's <laughs> not dead. That's good. That's where he went. All right. Uh, the water park's great. Absolutely fantastic. There's another water park. What's the one out? Um, water Country. Water Country, USA. That's another really good one. Mm-hmm. I want, I've done both, I think, three or four times. All right, next up, Aquarium. Uh, we mentioned this a little bit earlier, but we'll hit on it again. Right next to the Outdoor Adventure Park. Uh, they have some really cool stuff here, too, where you can um, you can take part of, like, well, they go out and dilute conservation projects. Uh, occasionally, I want to say they had, like, penguins in one year on, like, they, they brought them in. Um, I love the aquarium. Good date night. You can do weddings here. Yeah, that tunnel. Uh, yeah, they even have, I think, do they still do the mermaid thing where they have they the... Yeah, the mermaids going there. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, dolphin watching tour. Here you go. There's some dolphin dolphin watching tours that you can go in there and do the calendar. This is really cool. I, I think our aquarium is awesome. Properly rated. <laughs> Properly rated. Hunt Club Farm. Uh, we have used this place uh, for client events multiple times. Uh, this is a f- fantastic place. If you want to go, take the kids, let them see what nature is all about and see the farm and see how farms are run. And this is a great place to go. They have good food. Uh, they ha- do pumpkin picking, and I believe they have strawberry picking there as well. Yeah, so the, their Halloween, they have like a scare house thing. They have Christmas lights display. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they going to be able to hear you? If I talk loud, yes. If you talk loud. Yeah, there's some good I'm stuff like in here. Echo in the background. Yeah, here you go. Petting farm, tree walk adventure, birdie every year, birthday parties, animal adventure, summer camp. They they have tons of stuff here. Haunted. There you go. Haunted Hub Club. Yeah. Haunted Hub Club. Intense. Even more than like the hollow screen. Oh yeah. Yep. I'll have to I'll save that because I know somebody that'll really want that. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Hunt Club, Mount Oop, Mount Trashmore. Um this is, <laughs> I, I kind of, I think Mount Trashmore is overrated. It's fine. If you want to run hill sprints, it's got a good like track around the outside. It's got a, uh, the kids park there is awesome. So if you want to take your kids and go play on the kids park, Mount Trash, tr- 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 man, I am. Give me one second here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drunk on yogurt over here. Uh, obviously, it is built, um, as the name would imply, on a pile of trash. Uh, it's about 165 acres. There's two lakes there, two playgrounds, a skate park. Uh, so if you're into skating, you can go there and do some some thrashing. I don't know. I don't know what the cool kids call it today, Sean. Grinding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think the grinding might be a little something else. <laughs> All right, let's roll on to the next one here: culinary delights. Ooh, some good picks in here, Sean. Some good picks. All right, Paylons. First and foremost. Just to tell everybody here, I kind of went in order of, like, if you want to start off cheaper and then work your way up to the the top of the price point. Okay. I think that's fair. Um, I think Paylons is a staple. I, I don't know. If you were like, hey, Dan, do you want to grab something fresh, something light? Uh, something that is uh, like bes- like embodies Virginia Beach. Now they have Paylons in Norfolk as well, but um, their fish tacos, man, are so, so very good. Mm-hmm. Um, one of our closest friends, Tim James, like we probably have gone there, I don't know, five or six times in the last couple of years. Uh, maybe in the last year. Yeah, it's, they're <laughs> so delicious. And it's one of those foods where... I eat it and I'm kind of angry that I can't eat more because they're just, they taste so good. Um, sometimes I get a margarita, sometimes sometimes not, but I just think their fish tacos and guacamole is, is just stupid good. And coming off of the beach after a long day with like a margarita and some fish tacos just hits different, man. Hits different. If you're afterwards, if you've left some room, <laughs> uh, Lolly's has quickly become one of the locals favorite places to get some ice cream. And, uh, they have a, a great selection of, of tastes. I will say um, the Cookie Monster, not my cup of tea. As It's like that blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, not for me. My kids love it. But that, I don't know, there's just too too wild on the taste for myself. I like, I'm, a, I'm just like classic 
vanilla, vanilla chocolate, chocolate. Like Dough. if we get crazy, we'll give them chocolate chip. Just like something just very, it's just, I don't need much. It's just, it's very good. Uh, next is another uh, Virginia Beach staple. Waterman's uh, is the origin of the Orange Crush, uh, which is, let's see here, uh, if I remember correctly, we have Orange, you have Sprite, you have uh, Triple Sec, and is it vodka? Yeah. Vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, another one of those, those drinks, like a day on the beach, something citrusy, a little bit sweet. Uh, it's got a little... It's, it's absolutely fantastic. They usually put it over some really nice crushed ice. Yep. It just, it really refreshes you. Uh, and they have great seafood. That and their uh, actual restaurant themselves. Let's see if it will show. Yeah, it's right down here on the ocean front. Oh, I forgot they have their own spirits. Do they have? I was hoping they, yeah. So here you can see, it's kind of hard to see in this picture. However, uh, that right there is the boardwalk. So you've got places where you can eat. They've got some stuff in there you can shop, but like it's right here on the ocean front right here. Boom. Um, and this is for a very, very long time. Waterman's has been like the classic go-to locals favorite uh, place to, to go hang out and eat food and, and drink. Fresh local seafood. Boom. Since 1981. Terrapin. All right. If you're going to throw down on some fancy food. Fancy food. Yep. Uh, some fancy food. Um, I love Terrapin. I've been there now about four or five times. Uh, most recently, I took a client out there. They closed on a, a nice house, and we, so we decided to take them out for dinner, and we went here and hung out. It's one of the few places you can get caviar service. There are a lot of places around here you can do caviar service. Bird and Baldwin's one. I think Zoe's is one. Terrapin is definitely one. Um, they have really good food here, man. I had uh, We had the beet salad. Let's see here. What did I have? I think I had the steak. Classic Dan moment. I definitely did the, do the ribeye for two. They had like a special where I got the steak. I just, you know, best food in the world is steak in my opinion. Uh, Terrapin. Very, very, like, like a, they redid the interior. It's fantastic. They have a nice outdoor patio area. This actually is right across the street from my new office. Lovely food. And, um, yeah, the chef here is just incredible. All right. Entertainment and nightlife. Uh, we actually covered this one a little bit already, but we'll hit the Virginia Beach Amphitheater a little bit more because a big band's come. ton of big bands. Oh, right yeah. When's he coming? Uh, June. June. Oh, oh next it's already. Year. already yeah. Talk about. There you go. You got Nickelback. Nickelback. Oh, oh man. Nickelback, Three Days Grace. Chevelle. The Foo Fighters. <laughs> Golly day, man. Yeah, they've got they've got a huge huge lineup here. Uh, I went here. Um, I think I saw Motley Crue here. Yeah, man, this they've got some really big names that come here. I want to say P Diddy was here last not that long ago. There's some, some yeah, <laughs> some big names, man. Uh, part it, here's what I, one of the things I've been impressed with there. I've been out there a couple times for a concert. They're actually pretty daggone efficient with parking. Yeah. Especially like, compared to a lot of venues that are there. Like getting it, like for the amount of people that are in there and how quickly and efficiently they get everybody parked and into the venue is really impressive. All right, Town Center. Um, Town Center um, uh, is on this list because there's a lot to do in a, in a small, compact amount of like area. You have the Funny Bone, you've got uh, like, uh, I think during summer nights, they have like movies that they do for kids. Uh, they've got a place in here called the Muse Paint Bar where you can go in and paint and drink wine and eat some food. Bruce Chris, Chris Steakhouse. There's a ton of uh, restaurants and dining. For those who are not familiar with this, this area, if you zoom out, again, here's Virginia Beach. And then we are right here in Town Center. Oops, excuse me, Town Center. Right here. Apex is great, too. Uh, let's see if I can get this going. There we go. So here's town center right here. Uh, and the downtown. So like you've got the, let me zoom in a little bit better. Here we go. Here we go. So you have the main fountain area here. Uh, there's cold press bar right here. There's a great Mexican restaurant, Catalina Laredo here. Uh, the funny bone is right here. Um, tons of great, 
Sean and I, you and I have been to a uh, yard house probably a dozen times together. Yeah. Taste unlimited. Uh, there are tons of great, great places in here. Um, super popular um, Keegan's Irish bar and pub gets a ton mm -hmm. of traffic. I, I think this is a fantastic area uh, and there are a bunch of apartments in here. So if you want to live in a place that has high walkability, like I had, I have a friend that rents an apartment and one of her biggest things that she really loved was that there's a Wegmans right here <laughs> of which I've, I've become a little bit of a convert to Wegmans. Okay. Um, I did at first I was like, I don't, I don't get it. It's just a, just it's a grocery store. Section with all the different things pre-made. Yeah, they have, they have some good selections for sure. Uh, oh, Sean, I don't know this one. The Shack? The shack? You, don't know that? you may have to talk about this one. <clears throat> so the Shack, it's used often for a, um, I think it's kind of part of Waterman's, like they're, they're maybe an offshoot of Waterman's. Uh -oh. They have like- uh, No, I have been here, I'm sorry. There. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, people people do weddings inside of there. It's kind of like a hangout, um, kind of not a sports bar, but kind of that vibe of just everybody's hanging out. Not a brewery, same idea though. They have a bunch of orange crushes. People do cornhole tournaments. Looks like they got beer pong. Yeah, it's a fun place to, to hang out with on a Friday night. Well, there you go. I I would I went to a networking event here once. I don't really know what to say other than it's a cool hangout spot. Yeah. If you're wanting to throw like a corporate party, uh, they have some. Looks like they have some outdoor games here. I feel bad that I don't know about as much about this one. Again, Sean put the, the list together, but. Um, I went to a networking thing here and it was a good time. That's all I can say. Phil bad said that's that's all I got on that one. But it's really cool. There we go. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> top golf. You know about top golf. I've been to top golf multiple times. I I enjoy top golf. Yeah. Um, most recently I went to top golf and they had a um, Angry Birds version. Really? Yep. So they have like the the golf ball tracker, right? So they can tell exactly where your golf ball goes. When you pay Angry Birds, you look on the screen and you're aiming for like the boxes or the pigs or the TNT or something like that. Mm -hmm. If you aim directly at the TNT, like and it's like up and to the right, and you aim directly at it, it will hit the the TNT. So you have to actually go for accuracy. It's really it's pretty cool. I played with my brother most recently. Um, their wings are fantastic. They have fans and they have heaters. So like when the weather is off, it like it's actually quite comfortable don't outside. Worry, don't, worry about rain. don't have to worry about rain. You can get like a corporate um, account there and go on regular occasion. They give you discounts on food. Um, I think that, you know, it's not any more expensive than like ballpark food or anything like that or going to like a Chili's or something along those lines. I think the food is pretty good. It's pretty reasonable. And to be honest um, for the price, I think it's, it's totally worth it. If you're wanting to, they do things like um, they have, uh, coaches there so if you want to work on your golf game they have uh, pros that are, that will help you on it you can do group lessons you used to get like if you got a hole in one on like the farthest one you could get a trip to disney world I don't know if they still do that. oh i haven't <laughs> heard that but i i think top golf is one of those things where it's like oh they have a top golf they're a legit area yeah it's cool man and, and it's not like um run down it's like a really nice facility is a really nice facility all right, rolling on. I think is that it? Yeah. Boom. Do we have any questions about the area? Thank you for joining me this evening. Oh, I took you away. Say that again. Oh. <laughs> I said thank you for joining me this evening. We've got uh, the top 20 things to do, fun things in Virginia Beach, Beach. We covered more than what we needed to. Yeah, give your plug for people moving in the area. Yeah, if you're, if you're making a move and you're looking at making a uh, move into the area, you get all of our information down below. There's a link below in the description. Schedule directly time with us in the calendar there. And until next time, uh, for you, Sean, you're drinking. <laughs>